Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again with one of my Voodoo Envy machines. Uh, yep, I'm just going to give you a quick update and some unboxings. Uh, this is the H201, as you all already know, I assume. A really cool big old green machine. New to the collection is an HP Voodoo DNA mouse. I'm sure it's only a regular HP mouse with... Uh, extra gaming buttons and a voodoo badge on the bottom, but that's eh, still cool. It's in really good shape. It came with the driver CD. Not sure if I need the driver to get it to work properly, but... Well, you know, I, I got it. Next up is something a little bit more special. I've got a... A Razor Tarantula, but this is the Voodoo Edition. This actually did... Uh, come out with some old Voodoo machines, I believe a HP Blackbird as well. And yeah, it's got the Voodoo logo. And it's got the top piece here for the uh, light bar. Because it just doesn't have backlighting except for the macro keys on the left or right. And yeah, you could use the light bar to uh, see in the dark, funnily enough. Very cool old keyboard, it's in pretty good shape. The uh, only key with wear on it is the uh, S key. I guess whoever played this before did a lot of retreating. <laughs> I don't know. There's some funny French joke there, but that's beyond me. But today, we are going to be adding to the collection. Just give me a moment to move the big green machine out of the way. And let's have it. Alright, that is moved. Time for the main... Event main attraction. Shut up, phone. We've got a mighty big box here. Oh my god, phone, shut up, I don't care. The box seems to have seen better days. Uh, hopefully, everything survived. You've seen the title of the video, you know what's in here, but still. I mean, actually, that makes it even more valid. You know what's in here. Putting it open from this side because it's already bad, badly damaged. Okay. We've got a car plug by the looks of things. This is just a standard HP adapter, it seems. Hmm. I think I know what this is for, though. Remove some wrapping. Ah, uh, yes. This is an addition to the uh, Voodoo Omen R case that I've got. This is a video card holder. You put it in, and it can hold up your video cards. So if you have any really heavy cards, uh, they won't sag. I don't have any heavy cards, but it's good to have the case uh, complete now. And next thing here, uh, looks like this did get a little bit damaged in shipping. Big size. It looks like it's only uh, bottom panel, memory panel, hard drive caddy. Uh, DVD bay cover thing. Uh, looks like a either hard drive or a DVD uh, adapter thing. And a heat sink. What is all this for, you may ask? Well, I've got something special in here. I've actually got a lot of things special in here. I think the box here is unimportant. It's just some random box used uh, for the sake of keeping everything together. Uh, yeah, this is some golfing related thing. I don't care about that. Yay, so I can trash the box. And then... 
try this side. It looks like this uh, machine came in two pieces. Or it could be, ooh, I know what this is, and so will you, as soon as I figure out the trick to opening it. There we go, cellophane wrap thing gone. Or is this the working unit or the parts unit? Let's find out. This is a Voodoo Envy 133. Now I've got two of these in the box. Let's just take a little tour of it. Lovely, lovely machine this is. I knew it. Alright, I have two of these. This one is missing a screen. Our mission will be to find its screen and restore it to glory. Trying to take a look at the oh, that goes to battery. Trying to find the parts numbers and stuff. Uh, all up here. I'm surprised the battery fell out first. Hmm. It's got a. Windows Vista Business OEM key at the bottom. You can see big old video. Um, I wonder if we will see any HP badge here. I am not seeing a single HP badge. This battery has big old video on the bottom as well. Should hold on to this separate so I can test the batteries uh, individually on their own at a later occasion. Now, so this is the parts unit. Uh, I am told it is fully functional, it just needs a new screen. Which, uh, yeah, might be difficult, but I am up for the challenge. More bubble wrap here. I'm going to move this over. So that I get more table space. This is a special machine right here. This is a Voodoo Envy M370. But it's not just anyone. This is a limited edition model. I'm not sure how limited it is, but the fact that uh, Voodoo Envies are already so rare, the fact that even a limited edition one exists, this made me so curious how uncommon this machine is. Ah, I see what that machine panel in the box was for. Now I'm told this machine uh, is empty on the inside. Now it looks to be that way, but I do see a little bit of PCB someplace. It might just be the bottom side of the mouse pad though. So Voodoo PC back in the day, uh, they outsourced a lot of parts uh, from Clevo, so they use a lot of Clevo chassis, and that's not uncommon, Alienware did it, uh, Sager did it, a lot of other companies do it, and some still do to this day, uh, buy from a Sager or Clevo, I mean to uh, make a laptop uh, thing of the MSI GT80 Titan, or F Titan SLI. That's based off a uh, Clevo design. Now this machine is hollow on the inside. But take a look at this uh, graphic on the top. That is something else. The Voodoo logo is a rainbow. I'm trying to open up the screen without tearing 
chassis apart is not easy. Right, there's no screws holding anything together here. I do need to be very careful. But there we go. In the limited edition. So, yeah, I make the point about uh, Voodoo using a Clevo chassis because this is not a Clevo chassis. This is actually a MyTac chassis. MyTac is, I guess, a more European version of Clevo. So, yep, you need to get a board and stuff for this, but oh wait, let's take a look at what I've got over here. This is a Winbook 8050. This is based on the same design. You can see everything's good to go, except that this has a fried board. I plugged it up, magic smoke, so I need to find a working board, but I do have all the other components. Uh, like the, I wasn't aware if I was going to get a heat sink or not, and apparently I did, but this has all the screws, a DVD drive, even a battery. I need to check and see if this white machine has a battery. Let's go ahead and poke that now. Is this a battery or is this an empty shell for a battery? It is a battery. Yeah, it's nice and heavy. Awesome. Good to know. Whether or not it'll have any charge or not, that's uh, that doesn't matter because I can take out the battery cell and put the white cover onto any new battery. Right, so I need to just keep this in a safe spot. And now we get to the last box. Box within a box this time, actually. First one of those. Don't know which way is up for this, so let's just leave it like this. And get to opening her up. Alright, we're getting this open. To have it the right way around, even for the camera. Well, wow, that's a rare thing for me. Got the voodoo badge down here. So just lift it up. Yes, I do. Gold badge. And this seems like a way more complete unit, doesn't it? Indeed, it is. This is a voodoo. Well, yes, it's a voodoo, but there's another voodoo NV 133. One's in way better shape, it seems. And, opening it up, we've got a screen. Yes, this is a complete Voodoo Envy 133 in the box and everything. This is something else. I need to find the power button. Here it is. No life? Hmm. I guess it needs a charge. We shall close it. And take a brief little tour around it here. And these machines uh, were the last Voodoo laptops. So finding them at all is pretty rare. I've got two of them now. At one point, this machine was the thinnest laptop in the world. Look at how thin it is. Like it was competing with the first gen MacBook Air. This has a smaller uh, maximum thickness than the MacBook Air, but the MacBook Air still had a uh, thinner front because it uh, was like a clamshell. It went thin at one side. I'm going to go ahead and put this back into its little case. So I can show you the case in the shape it's meant to be showed. Still smells almost brand new.
All right, taking a look at it, we've got another uh, Voodoo mask on the top there. A little orange tab that says Voodoo. Moving this away, you can see we've got some accessories. We've got a uh, HDMI to VGA with its own little uh, Voodoo badge on it. We've got a power port. Power port actually probably is pretty rare. It's got the Voodoo badge on it as well. And it's just an AC adapter. Yes, it is. AC adapter has a plug there along with an Ethernet port. What is that for? Well, um, back in the day, these could be used as a Wi-Fi hotspot. So, hook it up to your router. It would make its own personal area network thing for your Voodoo. Now this here is a power plug. Why does it have a clamp at the end of it? I assume that's because it was used a lot and it needs some reinforcement. Which side goes into what, I wonder? There we go. That's that. This was probably a very used. I'm told that the Envy with no screen uh, was used extensively as a media machine with an external monitor hooked up to it. So it's good to see that these are not just kept in a box their whole life and were actually properly used. That is a great thing to see. Moving on to more accessories. We've got the external DVD drive. I was not aware that I was going to be getting this. I just got a brand new external drive, DVD drive. Uh, at least to its credit, it seems to be an external uh, eSATA drive, so that'll be fast. Uh, the Super Multi DVD Rewriter. Okay, so it's on a Blu-ray drive. Uh, and this is the first I think that it actually seems to say HP. That is the HP part number. I wonder if you can look that up on like Amazon or some Chinese website and get uh, everything. We've got the NV setup guides in their original boxes. Got a Windows Vista. Uh, there's not seem to be a special Voodoo edition of Windows. I would install that on everything instantly. Uh, we've got an NV133 supplemental drivers. We've got some manuals. Looks like a standard Windows Vista business OEM book. Got some Voodoo stickers. Got to hold on to those. Those might be extremely rare one day. A little uh, AVG antivirus software notice. Finding your Windows Vista key. And how to put on the cleaning mat. Along with, it uh, looks like some open source software notice and a touchpad finger gestures notice. These papers are a little bit worse for wear, but thankfully they are just papers, so I can go ahead and uh, reprint it. Battery notice, battery is not charged. Maybe that explains something. All right. Just moving all these away. Looks like we do only have 
Got two voodoo stickers. Hold on to them for dear life. I'm going to take a look at the a limited warranty and support guide. General terms. Yeah, this is all just literally warranty garbage. Nothing special or cool looking in there. Voodoo, DVD, seen that. Where's the business? Ah, uh, it's a 32 bit software. Ah, uh, I can't use it on everything. Uh, notebook Essentials. That. It's a pretty cool picture. I wonder if that image file is on the hard drive someplace. Looks like we've got a full color uh, readout of all the ports. Probably in multiple languages as well. Tells you what everything is. As expected, is there any troubleshooting? There's a thing to let you know to put automatic Windows updates on. Nothing underneath. I'm going to get uh, the setup guide out. So I don't try to bend it, getting it out the normal way. Oh, it's a big old flip out thing. It's another really cool picture for the desktop. Tells you how to do everything. Ah, it's telling you to remove protective film. I wish I had to do that. <laughs> Follow the on-screen instructions. And connecting to a wireless network, you can just use your new Voodoo uh, power adapter to do all of that for you. I'm going to go ahead and put away all the Envy things. Because I don't believe I'll need to uh, reinstall any uh, software. The previous owner who has been graciously selling me parts of his Voodoo collection uh, has already done that. He's wiped both of them with a fresh installer Windows Vista on them. put that there and this you see power adapter I do need that or this does seem to be a replacement power plug because one of them obviously has fraying at the end a uh, wide range of 65 watts I need to find the amperage for this Uh, 3.42 amps, and this one is 2.95 amps, so it's a little bit over amps, but that's fine, as long as it's not over voltage. So I shall put all of the original uh, power plug stuff. Uh, back into the box. I will not use it. This seems to be a generic HP adapter. So that's what I will use. And this was just the generic power plug for that. Okay. Let's go ahead get her all situated back in here. Try not to damage this power plug any more than it already is. They're all nice and lined up. Put you back on. Where was this? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Now, I would like to get this powered up. Apparently, it needs a battery charge. So, let me go find a nice power plug to use. Well, here it is. It is on, and it is a beauty. Probably can't see it with the uh, spotlight, but the keyboard is backlit. It is beautiful. I do have one issue, though. I cannot get the Wi-Fi radio to turn on. 
I looked in Device Manager, the proper device uh, settings seem to be on, like, you know, it can look at all the radios, but the dedicated wireless key seems to do nothing. I will uh, go ahead and close this. Toss you in here and look in the manual. <laughs> I don't know what's up. Maybe I need to reinstall the driver. Maybe I'll use that DVD drive. Uh, Vista Business, don't need any of these. I need to get to one of the Voodoo machine things. Notebook Essentials, okay. Let's have a look here. Now components, we have a wireless antenna. Antenna not visible on the outside of the computer. Who would have thought? Uh, number four. I need to figure out what... Uh, uh, these are only lights. I'm actually reading the manual here. Number four. Wireless light. Disabling and enabling system sensors. Maybe I need to do something in the BIOS. Alright, let's just take a look here. These are all just uh, standard fair Windows notification things. Now, where's the troubleshooting? That's what I need to do. It's got a Voodoo iOS. It's a low power OS. And it's got Skype. Uh, if you want to do that, I'm not going to worry about the video iOS. Maybe I should disable it. Who knows, maybe that's actually interfering with something. I know, thrilling entertainment, this video. Me sifting through an actual user's manual to figure out why Hitting the wireless key, there's not enabled a wireless radio. Backup, no. We're not getting anything of value here. And there's Vista experience. Look at all those. A limited warranty and support guide. I don't think this will have anything for us here. Nah, there's nothing in that. Hmm. I guess what I need to do is uh, go ahead and install the drivers. Uh, something or other is not working properly here. I'll just use this. Now uh, this doesn't have any Voodoo badge on it, so I'm not going to be worried of its condition. Go ahead, get her open. I would like to connect to the internet so I can use one of the Windows Vista keys it came with because it's screaming at me that I'm using pirated software, but it can't connect to the internet for me to activate it. So, good job Windows, you're doing a fantastic job.
Let's go ahead and get the screen nice and bright here so we can see it. Now, apparently this is not a very flexible cable. Now, nope, I'm going to need to use this from uh, the other side. So you guys will not be able to see anything I'm doing. I do apologize. I do need to get this fixed though. Battery seems to be holding a great charge there, so that's good news for me. I'll move that in the to the side. In you go. Now I need the driver CD. A uh, cool thing with this, these machines is that they do seem to have a solid state drive uh, already installed. This probably would have been one of the first solid state systems. There you go. It's good to see that that's all nice and working. I do want to go ahead and just copy all of these files straight to the desktop so I don't need to use the DVD drive again. New folder. NV driver DVD. Awesome. Let's go ahead and copy uh, the files over. That's ESAT, so it shouldn't take too long, although it is uh, 2 gigabytes in size. 3 megabytes will take about 10 minutes. 3. Yeah, 3.5 megabytes per second, 10 minutes. So I'll be back with you once it's all done and hopefully the driver's installed and we can actually get to using it. While this machine is doing the oh so fun process of uh, putting the drivers onto the drive, I should talk about this machine. It's got a Core 2 Duo, I believe P7600. That seems to be a soldered on chip. I cannot upgrade it. Uh, but it does have 2 gigabytes of memory. I have not checked and see if that is soldered on or if I can open it up and upgrade that to 8 gigabytes. I would love to do that. Now, even though it's only a 32-bit operating system, even upgrading to 4 would be a good improvement. Uh, it's got no video card, standard uh, Intel graphics for the time, meaning it won't do too good today in any games, but, you know, uh, this isn't really designed to be a gaming laptop. Uh, one really cool thing, though, is that the intake for the fan vents is on the right side, and the exhaust is on the left side, so it's got a channel of air going through to cool all the components at once. I don't know why many other computers haven't done this. It means you can uh, leave the computer on a flat surface, like a bed or something else, and have it not be insta-choked for air, because all the air is coming from the side, not the bottom. Now, how does, what does this mean for cleaning it? Well, instead of taking a vacuum to the bottom vent and being done with it, I think you need to open up the whole machine. I will open up the bottom of the other Envy so that I can, you know, take a look and see uh, the story with it. But, uh, yeah, you know, that's the parts machine. I need to... See if I can find a screen for it. It'll need to be a complete screen with the webcam because that's got none. Or maybe it'll be too difficult to find and I'll just either settle with it being a parts unit forever or see if somebody else wants it. I guess if you guys are interested in the parts unit NV133, uh, do go ahead and leave me a message. Let me know. And maybe we can work out a deal, or if you can help me fix it, that will be even better. I would love to have it fixed and restore it to glory. Now, a little bit more details about the computer. And a touchpad. I'm not sure if you can see it from the angle you guys are at, but it's completely flush with the rest of the system. It's only got little divots in it to let you know you're on the touchpad. Uh, it's kind of similar to the Alien or Air 51 M17X01. 
Uh, the only way you could tell you're on the touchpad with that is by looking to see if your finger was within the light zone. At least this has, you know, a texture difference. It's got a lot of different gestures for the time, like moving stuff around. I'm sure it's got a zoom feature and multi-touch, everything like that. Some mark there, I guess, from it being closed on the keyboard before. Nothing that a little uh, spray on the screen won't fix. And DVD driver is doing good. It's not getting hot or anything done like that. Trans transfer speed seems to be about on par with USB 2. Even though I'm pretty sure it was eShadow. So, I don't know the speeds for eShadow, I guess. Maybe I'm bad. But yeah, we've got a few more minutes here. I'll jump cut to when everything is installed. Alright. Got the driver CD copy to the desktop. I guess now I'll see if I can fix the Wi-Fi issue. Well, there we go. I got it. All that needed to be installed was a HP wireless manager. Uh, strangely enough, the Intel wireless one did nothing, but HP one seemed to work just fine. So now Windows Vista is installing all of its hundreds of updates, it's activated. And yeah, more videos of this to come. I need to figure out how to open this up, see if we can upgrade the memory and processor. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this unboxing video of sorts, then do go ahead and leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course don't forget to subscribe as well. And one more thing before I forget, this is the old processor of the green machine, the green Voodoo Envy. Why is that? I put in a new one. It's got a TL68, the best processor it can get. It runs fine. Anyways, that's going to do it before the camera battery dies. Uh, thanks, Game Boy Out. I will see you guys in the future. Hooray for video.